Which quotation from poetry most effectively illustrates the claim? Poetry is a 1919 poem by Marianne Moore. The poem highlights an ambivalence toward poetry, as the speaker acknowledges its merits while also expressing a sense of displeasure, writing blank. So the claim here is that the poet has, well, that Marianne Moore has an ambivalence toward poetry, where it, they, it acknowledges its merits but also expresses a sense of displeasure. So option choice A says, nor is it valid to discriminate against business documents and school books. All these phenomena are ju are important. So this is incorrect because the f f focus of this claim here is on poetry, not on business documents and school books. So A is incorrect. B. One must make a distinction, however, when dragged into prominence by half poets. The result is not poetry. This is incorrect because this doesn't show ambivalence toward poetry. It shows more of a negative attitude only towards poetry. So B is incorrect. C. When poems become so derivative as to become unintelligible, the same thing may be said for all of us, that we do not admire what we cannot understand. This, like B, is incorrect because this only talks about the negatives of poetry, not an ambivalence towards poetry. So C is incorrect. D. Reading poetry, however, with a perfect contempt for it, one discovers that there is in, a, in it, after all, a place for the genuine. This is the correct answer because it shows an ambivalence toward poetry, where they, it says with a perfect contempt for it, or disdain for it, there is in it, a, after all, a place for the genuine. So there's a place for it. So this shows both negative and positive aspects of poetry. So D is the correct answer.